Ford behind the wheel. It's a 59 Chevy body and 427, a horsepower under the hood. They've got a pair of these trucks. They've got the judge and the prosecutor. The prosecutor truck up first of 1959, as you mentioned. Good horsepower truck. It's going to take a lot of horsepower tonight. The track's hard. It's going to be real tough on the competitors. That and they have to make back-to-back -back pull. It's a short cool-down area before they go to the second sled. Wow, that is a hard track, isn't it? It's a good hard track. They're putting a lot of weight on the sled. The box is coming up very quickly. And that'll be the measurement that he'll write down in the record books. Now, he'll have a few moments to cool down, then he'll go to the second track, take the totals of the two pulls, and add them together, and that will be the distance they have tonight. So you're going to hear a lot bigger numbers as far as pulling distance is concerned than in the norm. All right, while they're waiting for the prosecutor to get hooked up, this is the wild hare. This is Dan Coelho behind the wheel. He's from Sherlock, California, and he's driving a 68 Dodge. 557 cubic inch all aluminum key black Hemi. Wow. One of the big racing versions of the Chrysler Hemi. Dan does quite well, travels all over the United States with the United States Hot Rod Association and a strong competitor. Was runner up here before last for the national championship in the points race. Here comes Dan. Took the left side of the track and did very well with it. Very good hook for Dan Coelho. Very good hook. It's uh, it's going to be tough. I think as the night goes along, you're going to see people go further down the track. And there's his wild hair. He's showing out the window. But I think the track will tear up a little bit. Moisture will come out of it. And the traction will be much better as the night goes along. This is the Popeye Express. As you can see, that's Mark Hargrove behind the wheel. He's from Turlock. And he is going to come down the left field foul line. 70 model Chevrolet truck with a big motor under the hood. Watch him grind it out. It's real tough over on that side. A lot of smoke coming up as Hartgrove tries the left side of the track. Well, the smoke probably was from the valve covers blowing thinner oil out onto to the headers and getting some smoke out of it. Don't think he hurt the engine. Didn't see a lot of it out of the exhaust side of the motor, so I don't think he hurt the motor too, that, too bad, but it also has a tendency, you get a lot of money invested in one of these motors, you see all that smoke, you have a tendency to kind of let up on it a little bit and mm -hmm. hold it in place for a moment. And let's see how he bites right off. Well, the track's good right off the starting line area. The traction's good, and it's going to be good all night long. Butterflies are wide open, and he's churning the tires. Working the track, trying to make the tires bite a little bit better, working it around... There you see the oil coming out, getting on the headers, and that's where all the smoke is coming from on the right bank. And here is the prosecutor, David Novella, behind the wheel, and this will be his second run. Remember, he came down left field foul pole, a home plate. Here he is going the other way. Just airing it out. There's a good hook. They're going to measure all the way down. He's headed out. A very fine pull. Look out. This is a tough truck. Excellent pull. For David Novella behind the wheel of the prosecutor, he did 130 feet and three inches at his first pole, and this one looks every bit of that. Let's look at the end of this pole, Mike, because this is where it got real interesting. Truck hooked up good. You see a lot of time, dirt coming off the front tires. The nose of it's biting in. Right there, look at the weight box almost all the way to the top. That's where he puts the halt on it. Dan Quello is getting ready for his second pull on Wild Hair. He went 148 and four inches the first time, and here is pull number two. Dan's off and running, and I mean hard. Watch him air it out. He's going to go to the distance. Yeah! Boy, Dan Quello really did a great job on that one. He had it hooked up from the word go. He had a lot of ground speed, and the vehicle was running excellent. Before the night's over with, we're going to see somebody blow it right out that door. Now, let's look at the weight transfer machine in this one, Mike. Let's look. Here it is. Right there, it just comes over the rear tires. It goes from a rolling weight to a dragging weight. Now, no matter how fast he goes or how slow he goes, that'll be at the same place that every time he go down the track. The box is topped out, all the weight transferring over it, putting friction down on the pan, and the vehicle runs out of traction right at the end of the track. Just an excellent pull for the Wild Hair and Dan Quello. Kendall Oil, the exclusive choice for many of the nation's top truck and tractor pole competitors. 
Well, if this name sounds familiar, it's because it's the same guy that has the truck that has set the standard mark tonight. This is Dan Coelho behind his second truck of the night. This is the Red Rabbit, 78 Dodge. Changed it over and converted it to a big 540 cubic inch all My aluminum. Good. Keith Black Hemi runs a trailer building business called Danco Trailer. Of course, he's been down the track, both tracks at one time, and there's a shot of that big injected Hemi setting there. This truck, he actually purchased new, ran for Superstock for a while, and now campaigns it under the modified ranks. 500 what? 40 cubic inch aluminum Keith Black motor. This is a very tough truck. Boy, it looks, it just looks mean sitting there. Dan it can handle about any job you want to put on him, and let's see if he can handle it tonight. Now, here's a guy that's got to beat himself tonight. He'd like to. <laughs> Anytime he can put a little pad in there, it will help. Here we go. There's a fantastic shot, and Dan is going right on down and getting it deep, getting it real deep. That's that is impressive. I think that that's is. the furthest pull we've seen on that track tonight, and Dan Coelho really hooked up. We're going to look at this again. Good bite off the start, and obviously he knew this surface. Well, Dan had it dialed in, went to the right-hand side. He didn't run the right-hand side on that first pull, and he's one of the first competitors down that side of the track. The machine has hooked up extremely well. Got a good amount of distance on it, good traction all the way around, an excellent pull for Dan Coelho. Dan knows his business. The Anaheim doubleheader extravaganza in pole number two for the running bear. This is Dan Dury. Another one out of that mythical city of Turlock. 79 Chevy, 468 under the hood. 138 feet, 11 and a quarter inches was his first pull. He'll have to put one down past the full pull mark. He needs to put about uh, 10 foot, or oh, about a 204 and seven would put him in the lead just looking at it. And that's just a little bit past the finish line. Now, they're going to let them pull the sled on this track as far as they can. They will measure past the finish line area on this track. Easing into it, a good pass started. He's still got a little mouse going on. Took the passing lane and a little flare there at the end. And the running bear will wait for them to add it up. That truck's too young to smoke. We know this truck bounces right off of the starting line, but when that happens, just a little further down the track, you're going to notice the bounce comes out of it. He actually drives the bounce out of it, still getting some very good distances. He would probably even be further down the track if the bounce wasn't right there on the starting line, but an excellent hook on the part of running bear. Combined, he has to be 319 and 4 inches. All right, next up, Jim Bishop. Apple Valley, California. This is the good vibrations. Jim runs a little motor, 468 cubic inches, little in this port, and it runs on gasoline. Just the second year he and his wife took him Jim landing the truck. And here again, having a little bit of problems with the tires, keeping them glued to the ground, bouncing around a little bit, and that's going to take the footages off the good vibration. Good vibrations, we're gonna see it again, kind of like from the crowd's point of view here, sitting down in the expensive seats. Immediately, the little bounce off the front end, and it gets worse as it goes along. It's good. Unlike the running bear truck, the bounce didn't come out of it. You see, still up and down motion, and that's really hurting the traction on it, really cutting down on the forward momentum. Now I'm Ken Brew with Mike Galloway. Stay tuned, because we'll have more here from Anaheim in just a moment. Watch out. The wildest show on wheels is about to roar into your living room. It's the ultimate home video. Blood, sweat, and gears. Bigfoot takes on the toughest full-blown competition ever before facing his greatest test when Sergeant Slaughter and his battle battalion challenge Bigfoot to an all-out tug of war. So if you want gear jamming, car crushing, down and dirty action, order your video now. Call 1-800-351-1500. Blood, sweat, and gears.